Hey Aquarius, welcome to your love reading for July 22nd to the 31st for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I hope you guys are doing good. I actually have a new deck I'm working with today. I felt compelled to break it out. I usually spend a lot of time with a deck before I introduce it onto my channel and into my readings. Excuse me guys, sorry about that. <laughs> Had lunch. Anyway. Um, but I felt really compelled to use this deck. It's called the Spells Caster deck. And so if you guys really like it, I am going to put a link down below where you can see links to all the other decks I've used through the course of my channel. You'll see decks on there that I actually don't have anymore um, for my people who've been with me for a long time. OK, um, but anyway, guys, so let's go ahead and talk about you. So in the meditative session I did. I didn't get too much, but I got I got enough. So the first thing they showed me was a box, like a little like wooden box, almost like a jewelry box of sorts, like an old school jewelry box. Um, I don't I couldn't tell if it was locked, but it was definitely closed. And you have your eyes on it. You're eyeballing it, whatever it is, Aqua, and you really want to open it, whatever it is, whatever it is, you want to unleash it, you want to open it. It feels very Pandora boxy kind of energy there. OK, hopefully it's not Pandora's box. But Aqua, whatever it is, you want to open it. You're dying to open it. I don't know why you want to open it so bad, but you want to unleash whatever's in there, okay? Then I saw a squirrel and I heard hungry. <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. Aqua, maybe you're dieting, maybe you're really hungry right now. But I actually feel like it's more of a primal animalistic drive that you're feeling with this hunger. It's like you're hungry for something. You feel starved for something. You're very motivated. You're feeling very, very motivated right now. And with squirrel spirit, it's like, it's funny I said squirrel spirit. I mean, when they show me animals, I know it's the animal totem, right? Like the spirit animal energy of the animal. That's why they show it. <laughs> That's why they show it to me. Sorry, guys, I'm gonna get a sip of water. Mm. You're very resourceful, Aqua. You're being very resourceful in whatever it is you're hungry for. Um, squirrel energy is also about being very confident, believing that you can really do whatever the hell it is you need to get done, right? And also being very scrappy, very scrappy and resourceful in that confidence. And you feel like, you almost feel like you have to be in whatever it is you're hungry for, whatever it is you're trying to get, whatever it is you're trying to attain. Pull it together. I just heard pull it together. Yeah, it's like you're you're like talking yourself up to Aqua, which I really love. And you guys are great manifestors. I feel like you are in manifestation energy with this squirrel energy, having the confidence to use all the tools at your disposal, which is what the magician does, uses every tool in the toolbox to get what it is they want, to get whatever it is they want to manifest, to get what it is you're hungry for, okay? A magician is not usually associated with Aquarius. I associate it with Aquarius because you guys are great manifestors. You guys are the aliens of the Zodiac, the rebels of the Zodiac. You guys essentially are always thinking outside the box, always trying to push against the grain, always trying to think of new ideas. You guys are in innovative people. You're very innovative. You have very innovative energy. Excuse me. Mercury retrograde still has my words. Okay. They took my words. It took all my words. Um, so Aqua, whatever it is that you're working towards and, and hungry for, whatever it is you're going to attain, because you're going to attain it. You're going to attain it. You will. At least that's how it's feeling. Feels like you will. You're just that confident that you're like, yeah, I will. I know I will. Thank you. <laughs> um, just keep doing that. It feels really good. It feels really awesome. Feels very confident. And you're going to get a lot of attention, I feel, in, re in um, response to you going for it. Okay? So let's get into the pre-shuffle. We have Justice. Oh, focus. We have Justice, Libra Energy. Let me go ahead and funky little batch here. Five of Cups, Scorpionic Energy with the Six of Cups, more Scorpionic Energy, also past life karmic soulmate energy, indicative of the past and memories and nostalgia, sweet, sweet memories, and King of Wands, Leo Energy, which is your natural seventh. By the way, guys, we are going into a lot of Leo energy. We are going into Leo season. Just keep that in mind, especially if you're Aquarius rising. In general, for Aquarians, Leos are the natural counterparts, okay? And so because of all of the this Leo energy, your seventh house is going to be very much highlighted, especially if you're an Aquarius rising, okay? But anyway, King of Wands, Leo energy could also be fire or air. I, You know, it's funny. With this deck, this came out in the uh, Libra reading as well. Uh, there might be something in there for you. This feels like a very different energy, though, than what I was getting at. Um, than what I was getting with the with the Libra reading. Five of Cups, if it's a focus, is usually, you know, being at a loss over something, focusing on the loss and not seeing the Two of Cups. This is literally holding the Two of Cups and, and looking at the loss and, and doing some shit. I mean, this basically looks like a ritual, does it not? 
Aqua, you're manifesting something that you feel like is out of your reach or something you feel you lost. And honestly, I think you're manifesting someone back into your life. You're trying to manifest someone back into your life. Someone that you feel like you lost and you want justice for whatever happened. And justice to you is getting this person or getting the ideal person. You know, it doesn't have to be someone from your past, but Six of Cups is telling me that, especially with Five of Cups indicative of something that was already lost, okay? It could also be just trying to return faith and love as well. Like someone who could really honor you in a relationship and someone that you could be really, really happy with in the long term. Someone who would be like a Leo, perfect counterpart for you, okay? Someone who's definitely a soulmate. Then we have Lovers, Gemini Energy, which is also my Divine Soul Connection card. So whatever label you want to put on it, it's a very, very deep soul connection, okay? Um, soulmates, twins, divine counterparts, all that good stuff. Six of Wands in reverse, Jupiter, Leo Energy. You feel like a connection is not getting attention. Almost like some... Oh, it's funny I use the word honor because I was about to say. You feel like someone's not honoring a very, very strong connection that you have. And it's the other person. It's the other person. Yeah, honestly, Aqua, some of you are definitely trying to manifest someone back into your life uh, that you feel like is not honoring the connection they have with you, okay? Other Aquarians, I feel like you want justice in your love life from all of the um, relationships that didn't work out, from all the heartbreaks that you've had, and you're like, you know what, this time around, I'm just going to get the perfect person. <laughs> This time around, I'm just going to manifest the perfect person for me so I can just not, you know, not have to repeat the same stuff over and over and not have disappointment after disappointment after disappointment. So to paraphrase, Aqua, some of you are trying to manifest a new love into your life, which is for you is justice for all the bullshit you've been through. Others are trying to have someone return back into your life who you feel is not honoring the connection that you two have. And it's something that you two have kind of lost you feel like you've lost this person, okay? But you're very confident. <laughs> you're very confident you can make it happen, Aqua. All right. Let's go ahead and get into it. For anybody who has any questions, oh, focus, curiosities or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below, okay? All right. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love, July 22nd to the 31st? Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? July 22nd to the 31st. Thank you. Any messages for Aquarius? They just showed me an apple. I know that means something. Shoot. Oh, apples. I know apples are used in love spells. If you're doing a little magic, be careful with that. Okay, I'm just saying, if you're do, if you're practicing. Um, but I know that they are used in love spells, but I also feel like there's wisdom associated with apples. But uh, please, by all means, comment below what you feel apple is representative for you it, personally. Um, but that's what I just innately am getting. It's like love, love spells, love manifestation, also wisdom as well. Here, okay, red apple specifically is what they showed me. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? July 22nd to the 31st. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? July 22nd to the 31st. Okay. Mm. Whoa, that was quick. E. Ten of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy. This is why you're trying to manifest Aqua. And this is why you're feeling very confident and very hungry for manifesting this. Because you're not happy right now. In your home environment, like when you go home, you're living your day-to-day, -day, even around your family members, you're, you are not happy. You could be in a very unhappy home environment in general with your family or roommates or what have you, but you are generally not happy and you want your Ten of Cups. I can feel it. You're, you're at the point where it's like, it's happening. <laughs> you know, it's like, that's the kind of confidence you have. Like, it has to happen. It has to. I'm not taking no for an answer. It has to happen. That's the kind of energy that I'm feeling off of you. I love you, Aquarius. <laughs> Let's see here. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? July 22nd to the 31st. 30th is coming up for some reason. The 30th might be an important day for some of you of July. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? July 22nd to the 31st. Any other messages for Aquarius? E. 
Eight of Swords, Gemini energy. You feel very trapped and confined in your situation, Akla. You're not happy. You're really not happy where you are. You feel like you don't really have a way out, which is why you're trying to manifest. You're trying to manifest a way out. You're trying to manifest your way to your Ten of Cups. You're trying to manifest your way into a really happy, solid relationship with someone of the past or someone new. It's different for all of you. And again, it could be vice versa. Someone could be doing this to get you into their life, okay? But either way, Aqua, I'm just going to read it as the way that I'm getting it. If it's vice versa, you, you'll know and just decide for yourself, okay? Feeling very trapped in the situation. Is there a way out? There has to be a way out. And all of that fire in the background, I'm feeling like that's your motivation, that's your motivation to get out of this situation that you're in, to get out of this unhappiness that you feel like you've been trapped in for a while here, okay? They're, they're showing me that box again. Aqua, I think that's why, again, it's all symbolic, whatever this box is. Once you unleash the box, you'll get out of this situation. And I think you know that. Interesting. Any other messages for Aquarius? I just heard let it go. Let it go. Aqua, whatever's in this box, this, I don't know, it's like, it's a wooden box. It looks like, it, it doesn't look like something you would typically see in just like someone's house. But I, I, I don't know why I had to say it like that. That's probably going to help resonate for some of you. Maybe it's an actual box you need to open, Aqua. But there's something about opening it. It's like letting go of the past, letting go of some baggage facing it facing it for some of you it's unleashing emotions about a past event unleashing emotions about a secret it's just unleash release unleash release the second you do it you're going to be able to get out of this this energy here okay all right let's keep it going any other messages Ooh, Knight of Wands. Look at you. Look at you, Aqua, taking flight. Sagittarian energy. <laughs> um, could also be Aries or Leo. I'm like, I'm so serious, Aqua. I feel like, again, once you open that box, boom. You're going to hop on a giant falcon or griffin or whatever that is. <laughs> and you're going to take some serious flight here, okay? Uh, I really like that, though. I love that energy. You're just going to take off. see here hold on new deck <laughs> oh okay empress in reverse libra energy taurus energy divine feminine energy and the page of wands in reverse this is fascinating aqua i feel like this empress might be the person you're hungry for might be the person you're trying to manifest back and of course this could be vice versa guys but that's how this is feeling it's feeling like i'm tapped into very masculine aquarian energies if it's vice versa for you it's vice versa for you okay but aqua once you release yourself from this by unleashing that box and manifesting your way out of it uh you're gonna take some serious flight and you're gonna t try to talk to an empress energy however this empress is in reverse with a page of wands in reverse page of wands in reverse is my bad news card the empress isn't very happy to be hearing from you aqua and i think you already are going into it knowing you're already going into it knowing that you're already going into it knowing that and i think that's why you're also really boosting up your confidence here because it's very much like it has to happen right just like we were saying the thing it just has to happen it has to there's no way this can't be successful. It has to be successful. So that's why you're being very confident coming into this Empress's energy. Like coming, this Empress can feel you coming, by the way. I can tell this Empress can feel you coming. It's like they're already trying to like brace themselves for the hit, <laughs> for the energetic hit of you being a Knight of Wands energy to basically go in there, balls to the wall, and just being like, this is happening. End of discussion. <laughs> Interesting. End of discussion. All right, let's see what else we got here. Any other messages for Aquarius regarding love, July 22nd to the 31st? For some of you, this is interesting. I'm feeling for most Aquarians, it's about manifesting a love into their life or someone from the past they feel like they lost back into their life because they feel like that's exactly what needs to happen. Again, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Some of you Aquarians, it's almost like, you're pushing this empress out some of you are living with an empress energy some of you are living with an empress energy and you feel very unhappy at home very trapped in your own home and you're wanting them out and that's why it's bad news for the empress and that's why they're not happy about it okay let's see what else we got here 
Any other messages for Aquarius regarding love? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, got two other cards here. Oh. Ooh. <sighs> Heavy emotion with these cards, guys. Queen of Cups in reverse, Cancerian energy. Could also be Pisces or Scorpio with the Eight of Cups, Piscean energy. Oh, this is heavy. This is really heavy. I feel like this is more of this Empress's energy. Aqua, if you're kicking someone out of your house, this Queen of Cups is someone else. This Queen of Cups is someone else. Aqua, some of you might be making room for this Queen of Cups in your life and kicking someone else out in the process. Some of you are definitely doing that. Others, um, where you're trying to manifest this Empress back into your life and they can feel you coming, bracing themselves for the hit. Uh, it's someone that was really, really hurt, very, very hurt, and just tried to move on. There's a sense of walking away. Hmm. Because these are new cards, I'm going to be looking, the, looking at them quite a bit in the illustrations, okay? So just hang in there with me. I'm being drawn to these cups. It's so interesting the way these are stacked. So you see with this Eight of Cups, I love I love this these cards. This might be my new favorite deck, guys. With this Eight of Cups, you see there's six cups stacked up here. And then there's one cup upright and one cup spilled. It's like that Six of Cups energy that we were picking up on in the pre-shuffle here. And then you got those Two of Cups. And this person staring at it like, is it really gone or is it not? Is the love really gone or is it not? Wow. Aqua, like I said, to paraphrase, because I, you know, not paraphrase, to summarize. <laughs> That's the right word. Uh, to summarize, Aqua, this Queen of Cups, you have a lot of emotion for them. Whether they are the Empress or it's the energy you're trying to, I don't want to say replace the Empress with, but bring into your life while you kick the Empress out, because those are two different scenarios for you guys. Um, this Queen of Cups, even though this Queen of Cups has really tried to move on, it's almost like something in them is telling them that the love isn't really gone. Which is why they're in reverse and why they're still hurting and trying to deal with their emotions about you. Like their intuition, which by the way, the Queen of Cups is the most intuitive queen. It's like their intuition's telling them it's not, it's not as done as you think. Like it's not as done as it seems. It's not as done as it seems. Huh. It's not as done as it seems. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Overall energy. Wow. Four of wands in reverse. Aries energy. Underneath that, we do have the seven of swords, Aquarian energy. So with this overall energy, whether you're kicking this empress out to bring the queen of cups into your life, or you're just trying to bring this queen of cups slash empress into your life, either way, um, what's highlighting your reading is, oh, please focus. What's highlighting your reading, Aquarius, is this broken foundation, and it looks like it was sabotaged. It does look like, excuse me. <clears throat> it's this energy of you trying to kick out this empress essentially and really break away that foundation. Um, and others, if you're in the other group, whatever was lost between you and this empress slash queen of cups energy, there was sabotage that actually made it fal uh, falter. Crumble. Crumble is a better word. That made it crumble. All right. Let's go further into this. All right. Let's break down these energies a little bit. So Aqua, this is how you're feeling right now. And again, you're trying to manifest your way out of this situation. But let's look at the Eight of Swords and see what puts you there. Okay. Using Rider weight to clarify. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Hold on. I'm being drawn in. Being drawn into the ox. I believe that's an ox. Yes, that's an ox. Aqua, you are very hungry. You are very motivated to make happen what you want happen. <laughs> that is going to bring you your ten of cups. With that ox in the background, I'm just getting a lot of work energy. Almost like ten of wands. You're so hungry for it that you know that it's going to require a hell of a lot of work on your part. But you're willing to do it. You're willing to do it. Tell me about the eight of swords. For Aquarius. Regarding love, July 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about Eight of Swords for Aquarius. Regarding love, July 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about Eight of Swords for Aquarius. Regarding love, 
July 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about this Eight of Swords for Aquarius regarding love, July 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about Eight of Swords for Aquarius regarding love. Some of you might be moving, actually. Some of you might definitely be moving, especially if you live with this Empress and you want to, I don't want to say replace, but that is kind of how it feels. <laughs> replace them with the Queen of Cups for those in that scenario. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Yeah, Sun in reverse Leo energy. No happiness nowhere is literally what I just heard. Ain't no happiness nowhere where you're at, Aqua, right now. Which is why you're you're refusing to continue living that way. Good for you. Good for you. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Let's see here. Oh, jeez. Aqua, no. Nine of Swords, Aquarian energy. This is a hell of a lot of anxiety. Torture. I actually am hearing torture. I can't live this way anymore. I can't live this way anymore. You, you've had it. You've had it. You've had it. No one. Yeah, that's why you're very much like this has to happen. It has to because I'm not going to do this anymore. <laughs> it has to because I'm not going to live in a tortured existence anymore. Wow. It's very intense, guys. Okay. Tell me about Eight of Swords for Aquarius regarding love. Tell me about the Eight of Swords for Aquarius regarding love. July 22nd to the 31st. This is a lot of serious moves, Aqua. I'm just, I'm a little taken aback by your energy. I think most people would be in this situation and will be, which is why this, like I said, if you're just trying to bring this person into your life, this Queen of Cups slash Empress, they feel you coming. Like that's how intense your energy is. And they're literally trying to brace themselves <laughs> for the impact of your energy. Uh, let's see here. Oh my. All right, now we have... Eight of Wands, Sagittarian energy with the Queen of Wands. Aries energy could also be fire or water. You know, it's interesting, Aqua. I actually feel like this is the same person as the Queen of Cups. Could be dealing with the Gemini, not necessarily with that two court card situation. This is you wanting to talk to your queen. And for some of you, they are the queen slash empress. Like I said, others, you're kicking an empress out to bring the queen in while your others are literally trying to manifest empress slash queen back into their life. But either way, you want to move forward with this queen. You want to talk to this queen. You really, really want to talk to them. You're also very attracted to them. There's something about their energy that's very magnetic. They don't have to try. <laughs> that's what I just heard. They don't have to try. You you really love... Okay, that's what it is. This person's very authentic. This person is just... They are who they are. They just put their shit out there and that's just who they are. Very much just who they are. And you just kind of... You admire that about them? You admire that about them. They don't give, they don't give an F what people think. They don't give an F what people think, which no wonder you like that aqua because that really jives with Aquarian energy. But you really want to talk with them and you really want to move forward with them. You really want to move forward with them. You want to move out of this tortured existence. Overall energy, we have 10 of pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Again, more of that home vibration. The 10 of cups and 10 of pentacles usually are associated with home and family. One is just the physical, one's the emotional. So not only are you really unhappy at home, but you also feel like your home's not very stable. Some of you might feel like your uh, security, your money, your career might be on shaky ground. This person brings you more confidence, Aqua. This queen brings, brings you more confidence, more peace. Wow, this is really sweet, actually. When this queen's around, you just feel like everything's just as it should be. That everything will be okay. Oh, Aqua, don't get emotional on me. I don't want to cry today. I don't want to cry today. Um, but let's go ahead and get further into this. You could have even shared a home with this person at one point. So let's move into you breaking free, you know, making your manifestation happen here with that Knight of Wands, Empress in Reverse, and the Page of Wands in Reverse. Again, this Empress slash Queen of Cups is bracing themselves for the hit. Um, and, up, and for some of you, you're kicking this Empress out to bring in this Queen. I know it's not like a broken record. I just want to make you guys clear on the situation. Um, while others, you're just trying to manifest, this is the same person, you're just trying to manifest them back. Either way, this Empress is not happy to be hearing from you, okay? Let's look at the Page of Wands in reverse and see what we get off of that. So we get more info on this Empress here. Play the Page of Wands in reverse. For Aquarius, regarding love, using Gilded Tarot to clarify Page of Wands in reverse. Tell me about Page of Wands in reverse. 
for Aquarius regarding love, July 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about Page of Wands in reverse. For Aquarius regarding love, July 22nd to the 31st. Ooh, yeah. King of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. Aqua, don't get mad. I'm just the messenger. Well, first thing, let's let's do some good news. We got a perfect pair. <laughs> we have a perfect pair to your queen, which is the person, no matter which group you're in, is the person you're trying to manifest back into your life, bring into your life here. Um, but this King of Cups in reverse energy, this Empress feels like it's bad news that you're approaching them. Whether it's because you're trying to kick them out of your house or because this is the same person as the queen, you're trying to manifest them back. They see you as being emotionally manipulative, okay? I'm sorry, I'm just the messenger. They see you as being emotionally manipulative. They don't really, tr they don't trust you. They don't trust you. They're very wary of you. They're very wary of you. They do see you a little bit as a manipulator, okay? I'm sorry, I'm just the messenger. Just the messenger. Tell me about Page of Wands in reverse. For Aquarius, regarding love, July 20th. Wow. Hierophant in reverse, Taurian energy here. They see you as someone who can't honor agreements, honor loyalty. Uh, uh, what's the, I just got flighty, but there's another word for that. Fickle. Fickle, Aqua. They see you as being a little fickle, okay? They, I'm hearing some other inner dialogue. Your loyalties are with you and you alone. They feel like you'll flip on a dime as long as it benefits you. Like you'll flip on anybody in a, in a heartbeat as long as it benefits you. I'm sorry, just the messenger. Let's see what else we get. Tell me about the page of wands in reverse. They don't really have a whole lot of faith in you, Aqua, either. Tell me about page of wands in reverse. Oh, a lot of court cards coming out. Tell me about page of wands in reverse for Aquarius regarding love, July 22nd. Okay. Let's see what we got here. So we have Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, again, double confirmation there, Virgo energy. Knight of Cups, Piscean energy could also be water or fire. And then we have a King of Wands. Again, what did I say? I was like, pretty sure this queen's the same as this queen. It pretty much is, Aqua. You are a true pair with your queen that you're trying to manifest into your life. Leo energy could also be fire or air here. Overall energy for the Page of Wands in reverse, we have the Five of Pentacles, Taurian energy. Okay. Okay. I'm seeing both the scenarios very clearly here. With this Knight of Swords in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, this is a lot of drama and communication about the unhappy home situation, about how unhappy you are, Aqua, whether you're sharing a home with this Empress or not. And if you're sharing a home with this Empress and you want them gone, it's ba you're basically just telling them the truth. Like, hey, this isn't working and I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. And then right after that, you're basically like, I know what I want. I know who I want in my home. And it's not you. And I'm going to go take action and go get them after this conversation. <laughs> you might not tell them that part. But that's basically what I'm seeing. It's like, get out. This isn't working. I'm going to go and get the person who belongs in my space. And then overall energy for that page of wands that this empress is feeling is that loss, that lack, being out in the cold. Literally, this is an eviction card for... Um, you know, in tarot, it is explicitly an eviction card, losing a home, losing money, losing security. <sighs> Damn. And for those where you want to bring this empress in slash queen of cups in, if you're in that scenario where you're not kicking anybody out, you just want to bring this person back into your life. You're basically going to be talking about how unhappy and unstable your home environment is. How unstable it feels, how unstable it feels. Some of you might be struggling a little bit in the career aspect, but uh, if that's the case, I don't feel like it's that much. I don't feel like it's that much. And you're basically going to say like, look, I do care about you. I, I want to do this with you. I can do all the work. Like I said over there the, with the eight of swords, that 10 of wands energy, I can put in the work that I have to put in to convince you that I can make this a happier environment, that I can I can be better, that there's not going to be drama and there's not going to be any sabotage here. But this Page of Wands in reverse has an overall energy for the Five of Pentacles because there is this energy of isolation between the two of you, of being out in the cold with each other, right? All right, so let's move on to this Queen. Let's move on to the Queen of Cups in reverse with that Eight of Cups. Let's look at the Eight of Cups energy, see what this Queen is feeling, okay? 
Uh, yeah, steampunk. Let's do steampunk. <clears throat> then we'll get some advice. <clears throat> Sorry, Aqua. Let me get some water. Hmm. Mm. Are we taking a major break after this? Let my throat chakra rest before I do more videos. Tell me about Eight of Cups. <clears throat> Tell me about Eight of Cups for Aquarius regarding love. July 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about Eight of Cups for Aquarius regarding love. July 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about the Eight of Cups for Aquarius regarding love. July 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about the Eight of Cups for Aquarius regarding love, July 22nd to the 31st, the sun, Leo energy. I'm getting a lot of happiness here. And like I said, with this Eight of Cups energy, it feels like the queen is, is, is almost being pulled back from moving forward because they can feel intuitively the love is still there. The love feels like it's still there. You know, and that's the thing, Aqua, like the love they have for you actually does make them happy, but they're in a lot of pain because of whatever sabotagery happened here, okay? You do make them really happy. They just, they want that reassurance that they can actually trust you, that they can trust you. Because like I said, Aqua, it's almost like they feel like they can't have any faith in you They because they view you as being emotionally manipulative. Let's see what else we got here. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups. For Aquarius, strength, Leo energy. A lot of Leo energy, guys. We're going to be having this for a couple weeks. This is having the courage to accept that you do make them happy even if they're hurt. And guys, I'm not like, I know I get a lot of shit for saying stuff like this. Um, but guys, that is what love is. And I know, I know, I know. People are always going to do things. People are always going to fuck up. People are not perfect. People are always going to hurt us. And when we love someone, yeah, it hurts a lot more. But loving someone unconditionally is, is just that. It's loving them unconditionally, which is not easy to do. And I feel like people can only really achieve that once they love themselves unconditionally to understand that someone else's actions is not a reflection on them. It's not a reflection on them. It's a reflection on their own bullshit, right? Someone doesn't do something to you because they think you deserve that. That's not why they do that. They Someone acts out, someone sabotages, not because they feel you deserve that pain. It's because of their own dysfunction and bullshit into why they behave that way. It's all about them and their dysfunction. It has nothing to do with you. I think this queen is accepting that. And it's almost like accepting to, to embrace the love that they have for you, Aqua. They are choosing that because it does bring them happiness. And I, this queen is this queen is very interesting. I think this queen must be very spiritual. Um, it's this energy of just choosing love, honestly, just choosing love, sending you love as well. Because this queen has a lot of self love for herself. This queen has a lot of self love for herself, unconditional love for herself. And she can tap into that for her own for her own healing, right? Is she hurt? Sure. Yes, she's hurt, but she can separate th that that out. She understands that whatever sabotagery happened, Aqua, was because of something that was going on within you and had nothing to do with them. They know their worth. They know their worth, and they can bask in the happiness of the love that they have for you separate from that. I know that that's hard to swallow. I know that's triggering a lot of people right now because I can feel it. But that is what love is, guys. That's why not a whole lot of people are capable of loving unconditionally. It's not easy to get to that point. But that's what this is. That's what that is. They're finding strength in love. Tell me about Eight of Cups for Aquarius regarding love. Seven of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy, letting go of all of the confusion that comes with pain as well. Letting go of the confusion that comes with pain. Also the fantasy. I'm getting fantasy. What's that about? What's this fantasy energy that I'm getting? Oh, while this queen is healing, because I feel like this queen's still in a healing process. And again, choosing love 
and basking in that happiness and joy she feels from the love she has for you, Aquarius. She or he, I'm just saying she because it's the Queen of Cups. Um, basking in that and accepting that, embracing that is really helping her to heal. But while she's on her way to healing, I think she was doing a lot of overthinking, okay? Being a little emotionally overwhelmed as to, oh, I see, I see. This queen went to a little bit of a low vibrational place. It went to a little bit of a low vibrational place um, of trying to figure it out, trying to figure out what happened, how it happened, why it happened, and finally just accepting it was them. It wasn't me. It was them. It wasn't me. I know my worth. I know what I'm capable of. I know, Aqua, they know that you love them. They know you love them. And they know they love you. And choosing that is healing for this person. Wow, this is a pretty incredible person, I gotta say, Aqua. No wonder you want them. <laughs> Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. You know, I was talking to someone else about this recently, and I think I even said this in a video yesterday, where it's like, people are always gonna do bad shit. You can't escape that. People are always gonna hurt you. Like, if someone throws a baseball through your glass house and destroys your glass house, yeah, you can be mad at them, perfectly valid to be upset, but holding on to that is not going to rebuild your house, right? It sucks, but we have to take responsibility for, for ourselves at the end of the day. And this queen knows that. And that's what's helping this queen heal as well. Tell me about this eight of cups for Aquarius. Tell me about this eight of cups for Aquarius. All right. Now we have the full Aries energy, also Aquarius, because it is a Uranus card. And then we have, wow, five of wands, Leo energy. I did not expect that. Oh, moving past it. Oh, thank you. Moving past it. Moving past it. Overall energy, we have the 10 of swords, Gemini energy here. Still feeling the pain. This queen's not quite healed yet. They're getting there. And choosing love is getting them there. Choosing love is getting them there. Underneath the Ten of Swords, we do have the Devil Capricorn energy. I'm feeling like this Devil energy is being wiped out with this Ten of Swords. You could be a, a Cap Aquarian cusper. Um, but yeah, I feel like with this with this pain and whatever um, sabotagery happened, it actually released some Devil energy for this Queen. It could have released some Devil energy that was going on between the two of you, Aqua. But either way, they're choosing love. They're choosing to have strength in love. And that's really helping them heal. And focusing on the love they have for you makes them really happy. And they know that you love them. And they know that they love you unconditionally at that. And that whatever sabotage you did. Um, and again, could be vice versa. Don't hate me, Aqua. Whatever sabotage took place here, they know it had nothing to do with them. Because they know who they are. They know who they are. But with this full energy and the five of wands, it's like this is having the courage to really take that leap of faith to try to move past this conflict, to try to move past this tension, also to face it. Aqua, you facing it and facing, that's what the box is. Thank you. That's what, what's in the box. That's what's in the box. Having the courage to face and unleash whatever's in the box uh, is really, is is basically exactly what's needed here. They, they, see, that, they see that that was very courageous of you. That was very courageous of you. And it is getting rid of a lot of confusions and illusions that were on your end about your situation and, and on their end about how they were handling the pain from the situation, from the sabotagery, okay? Either way, Aqua, it feels really good. It feels really good. And I do think that you are correct. I do think you're going to get exactly what it is you're looking for, that you're hungry for, that you're basically not gonna take no for an answer for. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and pull some advice for you from the Spirit Animal deck. Any advice for Aquarius regarding this spread? And guys, I'm, I don't support abuse. I don't support toxic relationships. I like a lot of people have been saying that lately. It's like, why would anybody support toxic relationships? That makes no sense. <laughs> you guys know me by now. You guys know me by now. I would never support toxic shit or anything like that. Any advice for Aquarius? Regarding this spread. Any advice for Aquarius regarding this spread? Aqua, just be patient with this queen. Because they are starting off a little bit like, mm, I love you and I know you love me. But can I trust that 
whatever happened won't happen again. There is a little bit of that, okay? So you kind of might, you might have to wait till they're done healing. And you might even have to prove that you are trustworthy, okay? Trust is usually earned in general. And if it's been broken once, it's really hard to earn back. So just know that, okay? Any advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? 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 Oh, okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh! Horse spirit freedom is yours. Look at you. <laughs> this is essentially the Knight of Wands energy. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh, I gotta pick it up. Okay. <laughs> That's essentially that Knight of Wands energy. You are free. You're free from this really oppressed way of living, this tortured way of existence. Like literally, Aqua, you, you basically just throw your arms up and you're like, I'm not doing this shit anymore. I'm not doing this shit anymore. I can't live this way. I'm not going to live this way. And you don't have to. You're literally chasing your dream. You're chasing your perfect person. You're manifesting exactly what it is you feel you deserve and what's going to make you really happy. Aqua, I love it. I freaking love it. Like you even need me to tell you to do that. Let's see what else we got here. Any other advice for Aquarius regarding this spread? Ooh. Any other advice for Aquarius? Oh yeah, manifestation. Any other advice for Aquarius regarding this spread? Okay, that was it. We have swan spirit time for a deep dive 60 breaking down to a six and lizard spirit dream the world into being 38 breaking down to an 11 here okay by the way horse spirit is a master number of 33 but if you break it down you usually don't but if you do it is a six with a six and an 11 anyway aqua the swan spirit is usually very a very Piscean energy for me. You could be an aqua Piscean cusper. But either way, it's about the emotional depths here of what you're feeling, what you're craving, what you want, what you need. And you're manifesting it. Basically, the advice spirit is giving you which is what you're already doing. You're manifesting your deepest emotional desires to have as much emotional fulfillment as you possibly can. And it's with your queen. And that's why you're making it happen. If I could pick these up. And you're not going to take no for an answer. <laughs> you're not going to take no for an answer. Overall energy, we have mouse spirit, 10 to the small things, 40 breaking down to a four. This is about foundations. I, I actually feel like this is this energy, the sabotage of the four of wands in reverse energy here. <sighs> Aqua. If you got to kick out this empress for those in that group, it's basically having to face the music and doing that, which you're more than happy to do. It's just not fun. It's, it's very drama, very drama filled to do that, okay? And for those where you're trying to bring this queen in, it's addressing what happened. It's addressing what actually happened between the two of you in the past, as far as the sabotage is concerned, and owning up, owning up, thank you, and owning up to it. Owning up to your role in it, owning up to your part in it, that's what's really going to turn this queen's perspective around in regards to you, okay? So just know that. All right, Aqua, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon, check that out focus along with Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and I will see you guys later. Have a good night, Aqua. Namaste.